Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to prevent creation of empty file through Azure Data Factory. So think about a scenario where you are reading the data from Azure SQL table and you are creating a file in blob storage. So if you have the records, it should create those files. But if you do not have any records in your source, it should not create the file. But in Azure Data Factory, what happens if your source does not have the record, still it does create an empty file. So that's what we are dealing with. Now, let me create the pipeline pipeline first uh, and then we are uh, going to experiment uh, all those kind of things. Uh, here is my table and I'm going to call this one customer destination table and from here uh, I'm selecting a few rows. Uh, these file, this, these uh, records will be uh, read from the SQL, Azure SQL database and uh, then we will be creating uh, the blob storage uh, of the CSV file. So we are going to go there and do that. Uh, go to the Azure Data Factory here, go to the author and then uh, we are going to create a new pipeline. Uh, hit right here and uh, sorry pipeline right here and then create a new pipeline and I'm going to call this pipeline PL uh, no empty okay just whatever the name you want to give up now I will uh, do one thing I'm gonna go ahead and bring the copy activity here and uh, first uh, we will uh, go to the source create our source data set and here uh, I'm gonna say Azure SQL now I'm gonna Hit the continue and uh, right there is already there is a linked service but I'm going to create a new one so you can see how exactly it works. Uh, I'm going to leave the names and everything as it is. You're going to go to the connect to the integration runtime. That's fine as well. And uh, select your subscription, select your server name, select your database name TBIT and uh, then you have uh, authentication. So in my case it's a SQL authentication. So I'm good right there. Provided the password, tested the connection and uh, it looks uh, fine now uh, all good here and uh, from here we can select the table so DBO customer destination remember that that's where we are reading the data from and uh, we can hit new, uh, none uh, instead of uh, import schema and all that because I don't care about uh, uh, map in part here too much uh, so I'm gonna go to sync now and uh, then uh, this uh, data will be written to the Azure blob so right there Azure blob storage and they hit uh, next CSV file is fine and uh, I'm gonna go to create a new linked service and uh, here I'm gonna go to my subscription my storage account and then uh, we are all good test your connection is successful and we are all fine here now what we need to do here we need to provide uh, the container in which uh, our file will be created um, I have a container called input and uh, there is already one file called customer destination I don't care about that one and I'm going to call this one customer and DEST demo okay just for a uh, um, so you would know that this is a the name of the file uh, first row has header yes and import schema leave to none and hit all right now we go to the Azure blob story right there and here we are gonna delete this file this file is uh, anyways a different file so it doesn't really matter so we are in the container so right here I'm on main portal go to the storage and in the storage go to containers and in the container input container and right now we do not have any file so as I showed you we have a hundred records in this uh, table if I run this uh, copy activity what's this gonna do is gonna read uh, all those records and create the CSV file so that's good uh, let's uh, hit uh, debug okay our, our pipeline is completed and we can see right from here uh, there are some reads and writes and all those kind of things. Uh, you can go on this uh, line here, uh, these glasses and uh, say 100. Uh, so 100 rows are read and written to the our file. So now let's go back here. Let's uh, refresh. And now what we are going to do, we are going to take a look uh, on the data. So go to edit. And uh, here is our column header. And uh, these are the rows of uh, data right there. So we are all good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here in the table. And I'm going to truncate this table. And then we did not change the name of the file. So let's see if it will overwrite. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute. And now our expectation is an empty file should be created. Okay, so the pipeline got completed successfully. Go to the glasses and here it is saying zero row is red. Let's go back to the Azure portal. We are in storage in the input container right there. So we are gonna go back there and see right there is say 33B, okay? So click right there and now what we see there, there are no records but there is only header. So 
it does create the empty file in case that there is no data coming from the source. So what we need to do, we need to uh, write some logic in which we can handle if there is no data coming, we don't want to create any files here. So let's go back here in the Azure Data Factory. First of all, what we are going to do, we are going to bring a lookup. Okay. In the lookup, what we will do, write a query and uh, here go to settings and in the setting, uh, you can uh, go new and it's going to be Azure SQL, select that. It's going to be the same linked service because if you guys remember that, uh, we have only one database. I'm not going to select any table or anything. You can select actually table and let's uh, select the uh, same table where the data is coming from and now hit the none and uh, hit OK. Now, if you preview the data, there is no data here, right? So that's all right. And uh, what we are going to do, we are going to check mark this uh, first row only. So if it is already on, leave that on. If it is not on, you check this box. So we need that, right? Why? Because I'm going to connect uh, my, I'm going to bring another uh, activities called if condition. Okay, so we are going to check some values here. So if my lookup, uh, the first row is coming, it means uh, there is some data. So that's how I'm going to take it. If there is uh, no first row is coming, uh, that means there is no data. And I need to click on uh, this uh, if condition. And here I'm going to go to the activities uh, for add dynamic content. Uh, okay, here what you're going to say, you're going to first of all find a function. It's called contain. Okay, so once you have contains, uh, click there and now remove this guy. And uh, now you're inside, uh, you're going to select this lookup. So you have add activity, lookup one dot output. Uh, and inside the output, what we are looking for, we are looking for a first row. Okay, first row. If uh, our data set will uh, return, um, let's say uh, in the lookup, uh, the record, the query will run and at least uh, first row is return, then we are going to run our copy activity. Otherwise, we are not going to run. So I'm going to show you this expression. So I will uh, leave this expression here. You can uh, use later from the description. I will just uh, add that. So you see right there at the rate contains, then uh, you have your activity name that output, that's your lookup. Uh, and then you are checking for the first row in the output. Uh. So that's what we are doing right there. Now, and this looks good, hit OK. And I need to cut this uh, copy activity. And uh, then I'm going to click on a uh, true pencil right here. And then uh, once I click there, I'm going to just paste it there. OK, so I did not write anything for the false because I don't have a whole lot of conditions. I just want to check uh, if uh, the first row is coming, if there is some data coming from the lookup, it means that this table has some data. And remember that customer destination is uh, the table that's used here. So if you guys uh, notice right there, if you go open and this is a customer underscore destination, that's the data uh, table used here. So if uh, any row will be returned by ta that uh, table, that means there is some data and then uh, our condition will get true and uh, the data will be written. So let's execute that and let me show you. As of now, there is no data. So if you guys see right there, there is no, no data at all. So we are going to go back here and our lookup is queued. Pipeline is running. And now we are going to see uh, what lookup is going to return. So you see right there, lookup completed successfully. And then if condition also completed successfully, let's take a look on the output of a lookup. And right here, so you see that there is no record return. So output has this uh, effective uh, integration runtime and all that information there but they, it does not say anything uh, under the output like first row because there is no data to return so when this value went to the uh, our uh, if condition it could not find anything it's in first row in this whole uh, data okay and then uh, that's why it didn't kick uh, the start uh, true part so no copy activity started so if you go right there nothing happened so now if we go back here and uh, check our uh, blob storage, go to input, and uh, even uh, you refresh your 20 hundred time, uh, still uh, it's uh, not going to show you file because no file got created. So our logic is working good. Now what we are going to do, we are going to go back here, insert some records here. So let's insert some data in the customer table and the uh, customer destination table. Now it has 100 rows uh, again. Now we go back here and we are going to debug uh, again this time what's going to happen lookup is going to read uh, the data from a customer underscore destination and it will read the first row 
because there is a data available so it will have that first row in the output and then some values for that row and one uh, those once those values get to the if condition it's gonna go to the true because uh, there is a first row and uh, that has uh, the value does exist and contain function is gonna make the expression uh, true and uh, that's how it's gonna work so, so you see right there look up it ran and now you see that output does have first row because there was some data to read so now that's what we were checking if our output from the lookup does contain first row then we are going to run our copy activity so we are not checking the values itself we are just checking this part even first row is brought you know and this could be possibility like your first row is there but all the values are null but doesn't matter you know as long as there is one row returned you know that's where it is going to show up and then we checked in the expressions so see right there this rest of that thing is, is it there it was there already last time as well but we didn't care because first row was not there so now the first row was there and uh, it went to the if condition and uh, then it got succeeded uh, because the value does uh, contain uh, the output does contain first row now it went to the copy data and it copy 100 rows okay now we go back to the azure data factory here sorry portal and here is our table see right there it's not table just a file it is our file there and i have 100 records now if i will go back and delete everything from this table and rerun the pipeline nothing will happen remember the first time what happened when we rerun the pipeline it overwrite it with blank this time our logic is working so it's not going to create the file so it's not going to get to even the copy activity so no file will be generated and especially in, in this case empty file right so this is how you will uh, uh, create a logic uh, where you, if you are reading the data from a uh, sql or oracle or some other databases you can always use lookup and uh, then use that expression uh, contains uh, and check the first row and if it is a no value return then don't do anything if there is a, anything returned in the first row then you will create the file so it got completed all good no file is created we can go to the azure data factory sorry azure portal again and uh, take a look and this file should be as it is whatever it is so it did not got uh, overwritten by any blank records all right so thank you very much for watching and i will put the, the uh, that expression in the description so you can take from there I appreciate your time with me go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video